Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well now, what have we here? Do we have a pissed off Jose Maria de Castro, aka Delete Laws? Yes, and it appears that he is particularly pissed off at one of my videos by the name uh, called Beta Male Wants to Sue Everybody. Well, I'll tell you something, Chili. I save every video that I create, I save them on multiple platforms. And I save them whenever I can, just to make sure that if anybody tries to copyright strike me, I can go back and uh, make records of every little detail that I put into the videos to ensure that, uh, well, everything is fair use. So now, I, as a result, I am going to double down. I am going to make this a two-part video. In the first part, I am just going to re-upload the uh, one that you took down just to piss you off. And the second one, I haven't entirely watched yet myself. I just downloaded a random video of his that he recently uploaded without watching it. So this will be my first viewing of it. So I don't have any wherewithal of what exactly it entails. So let's go ahead and sit back. Relax and enjoy the show. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Las Vegas, Nevada with Chili Day Castro as he's still upset over the fact that he got arrested due to his own stupidity. And he attempts to unleash a verbal tirade against the very cop that uh, incarcerated him. So now... Let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Here we go. Afternoon, sir. Make sure you don't leave your dog in the car. That is a criminal act, okay? Oh, what's the matter, Chili? Still upset that that officer managed to take you down all by himself? Enjoy the lawsuit! Oh yeah, sure, you're gonna file a lawsuit on this officer. Yeah, good luck with that, dunce cap, considering that none of your other lawsuits ever worked out in your favor, Mr. Constitutional Law Scholar. Huh. You're so f Sorensen. You're so f bro. You're so screwed, brother. Yeah, uh, and this is coming from the uh, quote constitutional law scholar unquote who is building up a list of charges all across the continental United States. So yeah, I don't think your word is worth anything on that. Let's go, Sorensen. Let's dance. Come on, bro. Mr. Tough Guy.
dude, he took you down all by himself. He didn't need any help. He didn't ask for any help. He just did it. And it was a glorious sight to behold. And now we know why you dodged that challenge so many months ago. Because you fold like a paper tiger whenever anything happens. Just as you did the other day. You damn pussy! What's the matter, Sorensen? You gotta run away? I'm by myself now! There you go. There you are, little piggy. Okay, we got a case of projection here, Chili. You're projecting your weaknesses onto the cop. You're the beta male in this scenario, and he's the alpha between you and him. You got a dick this big, bro. That's how big your dick is. You are just so full of projection today, aren't you? That cop must have really gotten to you. Your ego must have been so wounded when he took you down single-handedly. Yeah, it stings, doesn't it, Chili? Knowing and realizing how just incredibly lame you truly are. And you're never going to get over it, are you? It's how big you are, bro. You are nothing but a... You are nothing but a cut, bro. Not so tough without five guys, are you? Not so tough, are you? Sweet little dog. Drive on, little doggy. Not so tough, are you? You need backup? You need backup? Oh, come on now, Chili. Do you really want to relive your humiliation? Are you really that much of a masochist? So you're going to sue all of us? Uh, does that mean you're going to sue Dr. Dave, Frauditor Troll, Big West Frauditor Watch, uh, Frauditor Reaper, uh, Frauditor News Network, Unclean Hands, Dunning-Kruger, Frauditor Wrangler, Irish Demon, Team Skeptic, Tones Over Explains It, Hezokai, Familia TV, KFAR, Keeping It Criminal, Mass Hole Report, Blackheart Knight, Radical, Van Balen, Vilified Freedom, and every other anti-frauditor on this platform. Um, yeah, good luck with that, dude. Uh, wallow in your failure afterwards, okay? You're all listed. <laughs> See, and the, the cop who did this to me, you're gonna get fired, bro. You're gonna get fired. You're gonna get fired. Piece of shit, beta male cuck. You know, I was, I was raised, uh, I was raised devout Catholic. I was raised an altar boy. And I learned the Lord's Prayer. I said it so many millions of times. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of 
death I shall fear no evil. I am not afraid of you. You do not scare me. You're scared of me. That's a fact. Because you know as well as I do, as soon as you're alone with me, you better call for help. Because the truth is, without your stick and your badge and your gun, you're no match for me, bro. I'm mad. So, if this isn't over, you think you're a smart ass, right? Hey, waving at me? Bro, you're listed in a federal civil rights lawsuit, brother. There it is. All right, guys. I gotta go. Thanks for coming. I'll see you guys on the next one. Later, Gators. Well, there you have it, folks. Chile de Castro is completely butthurt, and he's going to try to throw a lawsuit at, well, everybody he can find that didn't help him out that day. So I guess I'm on that, too. So we got to be all on our toes for something that may never come. Well, now, here comes the second part of the video. Now, I haven't even watched this particular uh, one yet because... I just downloaded a, a video that he recently uploaded, and I wasn't even going to take a minute to watch it, because you know what? I can't stand watching that guy for even five minutes at a time. Mostly because of his smug uh, attitude that he has, and then there's the fact that he spews out so much verbal diarrhea of things that are so easily debunkable. I don't have the time to even get into 1% of it, but I would suggest watching Frauditor Reaper for an in-depth dive into his uh, trifold. So without further ado, let's go ahead and roll that beautiful bean footage. Ooh, those trans coppers. Got, uh, they're doing what they do. Get somebody in the torture cuffs. So. LPMPD, your highness, you cute little pigtails. That's a cute little pigtail. She's in shape too. She's in good shape. That pigtail. Great. That was very sexist of you calling her a pigtail. But hey, what else can we expect from this? Uh, so-called constitutional law scholar, master everything he touches. Okay, yeah, right. What's what's pretty good blood pressure when you're in torture cuffs? <laughs> what's pretty good? What's a pretty good blood pressure? We can't discuss that. We can't discuss that because it's a HIPAA violation. No, that's what I was saying early. But what's pretty good though? What's a pretty good range? I mean. With the circumstances, when he's shackled up like a, he's shackled up like a pig. You can take him out of torture cuffs for a second. One seventy-five, one sixty. I already have high blood pressure, so my blood pressure would be like with two coppers and torture cuffs and then like in a cage. My blood pressure would probably be like 190. Oh, you know what though? Now I know. Next time I get put in the torture cuffs, I'm gonna call for EMTs and I'll go to the hospital. But they'll, they'll leave you in the torture cuffs all the way through the hospital. It's crazy. Like you're some sort of hardened criminal who cannot get away, you know? It could be for like a DUI or something or whatever, but they'll, they'll leave you in those torture cuffs. Well, yeah, Chili, that's mostly because it's for the officer's safety, you dumbass. Because, guess what? Some of these uh, people don't have good intentions toward anybody, especially the officers. Because not everybody is a sweet, innocent little teddy bear like you, Chili, because you're so soft that you won't resist anyway. He doesn't want to go to jail, so he's trying to go to the hospital. He's pleading with the EMTs to say that he's not okay. That's what's happening right now. You guys probably can't see because of the light, but he's pleading with the EMTs saying, I'm not good.
He wants to. Go, he wants to go to the hospital. He, he, he does not want to go to jail. I don't blame him. I don't blame him. It's much better going to the hospital than jail. So much better. It's so much better. Damn, are you such a narcissist that you've got to cut away every time you are talking? I mean, switching back and forth between your face and the action gets disorientating, you dipstick. It's a better life going to the hospital. I'm, I'm, I'm calling the EMTs for now. Oh, that's it? That's it? What's pretty good? What's pretty good? What's pretty good? What's pretty good, buddy? What's pretty good? You get them cuffs loosened now. Loosen those cuffs before you get in. Make sure you get those cuffs loosened before you go. I mean, you know, you know they hurt, right? You know those torture cuffs hurt. You know, right? Well, gee, Chili, they're not exactly built for comfort, now, are they? Like I said earlier, dude, it's all about restraint. They don't want that suspect or any other suspect getting out and wreaking havoc on the scene. People get hurt or worse. Copper? You guys good? Can you get your name and badge number, please, sir? Sure, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Officer Lule, P number 18544. Lule. Yeah. What's, what's hers? I don't know. I just married today. Oh, you did? <laughs> I did. <laughs> How many coppers are on L LVMPD? How many coppers? Yeah. How many you guys got? What do you mean copper? On the whole copper force you guys have. Uh, What's a copper? You, you're a copper, bro. <laughs> you signed up to the copper force, bro. You, you copper signed up force. to it, bro. You're a copper now forever. You put that suit on, you're a copper. 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 That's the way it is. Copper. What's your name? Officer Lule. No, what's your name, though? My name? Yeah. I already told you. First name. Now, why the hell would you want their first names anyway, Chili? I mean... You're not exactly the uh, most forgiving person out there. In fact, you've been known to dox everybody that you come across, especially those on YouTube. Uh-oh, looks like I better be careful because he's probably got my information by now, and he's about to release it to everybody. Oh, well, there are other frauders out there that uh, know who I am, know what my full name is. Hell. Gammed up caveman somehow managed to make it onto my Facebook page and showed a picture of my uh, bachelor's degree on there. But at least he had the good sense enough to cover my last name. Louis? 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 Lulu? Lule. Lule. What's up, Lule? There you go. How long have you been a copper for? Uh, about two and a half years. <laughs> Damn. Oh man, right around 2020. Yeah. A lot of new coppers come on in 2020. It looks like it. That's what it seems like. D DUI? Is that what that was? DUI? I, I know you can't tell me, but, uh, yeah. Oh, ma'am, can I get your name and badge number? I'm so sorry. It's fine. It's Officer Allen, 17473. Allen, how you doing, Ms. Allen? Great, how are you? It's good to meet you. What's your name? It's my, my pleasure. Uh, my, my name's Jose. My friends call me Chili. This is what I do. You know, I know. I'm just, I, oh, oh, you know? I see you. I see you. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There's a, this is, this is, this is all I do. You guys have, you guys have nothing to fear? Like, I, I'm a good human being. <laughs> <laughs> Given your long criminal history, Chili, uh, no, you are definitely not a good guy. I'm not going to do something illegal. <laughs> I, I, I've been to the dungeon, bro. I'm not going back. You say that now, but you continuously end up there throughout your entire life. I mean, you are a screw-up over and over again, so deal with it. You're going to go back eventually. Is this guy, are you, is he in charge? Who's in charge? We, we can have a back and forth, you know, but when he's, when he's done talking, I just get excited sometimes. And I don't know if he's in charge or the arrested officer. It could be. 
gonna be, gonna be the arresting officer. Let's find out right now. Sir, can I get your name and badge number? Yeah, I get you. Okay, no problem. Thanks, sir. Appreciate that. Houghton? Yeah. Houghton. H O U T O N? H O U G H T O N. H O U G H T O N. I gotta get back to business. I know you're busy. I'm so sorry. I do appreciate your time. Okay. Okay, folks. My work here is done. Um, nobody died. Nobody died. Well, gee, Chili. Uh, it was a good thing that you were there to ensure that nobody died. I mean, what would they do without you? I mean, all these thousands of traffic stops that occur every day. So many people getting pulled over and not dying. Do we have you to attribute to that? That so many people didn't die because Chile de Castro took care of one traffic stop? Chile, you're a joke. You're not going to change anything. You're not going to do much of anything. And you know what? Even if you have my name, even if you try to dox me, it's not going to be worth anything to you. Because unlike you, I don't have any uh, criminal history. In the meantime, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you did anyway. At least the second part of it anyway. Because you know what? It was a bit of a boring traffic stop anyway. So anyway, thanks for stopping by. And I will see you on the next one.